All right, the 72 Day Star, out in a walking about here in near my home. And uh, what's on my mind today, I was on Facebook and I saw an article put up by Evidence of Harm by Religion. Now, that's a Facebook page that's quite popular. It's got about 30,000 uh, likes, so that means it's it's reaching quite, a, quite an audience. And uh, this piece in particular... Uh, got as many as 900 shares. So if you imagine with the typical person having a couple hundred of Facebook friends and then they share this, that's a huge audience, potentially, anyways. Um, so anyways, let me post it here and then I'll go into why I took exception at this. Well, if you look at the top there, it seems to suggest that by being atheist, you're at risk of jail time in Kentucky. But if you read the article that I'll put down below that was attached to this by Evidence of Harm by, Re uh, Evidence of Harm by Religion, um, you'll see, if you read down, about three or four paragraphs down, to, uh, you'll read what the law actually is about. It's about the um, state buildings, the Homeland Security buildings, that they have to put a plaque that indicates that they rely on God for protection, uh, which is silly, of course. Uh, but, you know, it's not, it's not like they're going to be, there's going to be paddy wagons going around rounding up atheists or something, which is the sort of, uh, exaggerated suggestion of the headline, but I guess they feel they have to write a headline that's going to be eye-catching, and that certainly was, but now we've got people who apparently didn't bother to read the full article going around with the impression that Kentucky is going to be rounding up atheists. It's just ridiculous. And the re I got a bit angry. I put a nasty comment on the, in the comment section on that. Uh, because I, I really don't think that's going to help anyone. If anything, it's, it's hypocritical. Because one of the things that I don't like about some religious people is that they lie thinking that that's going to help their cause. You know? That they'll, they'll say something that's untrue. For example, that evolution is a controversial theory when it's not. At least not among the people who actually study evolution it's, and biology. It's not controversial. It's, uh, it's, it's a foundation of biology. Anyways, I digress. Um, so this Tom Reiner guy, who's oddly a Democrat, but he's also a Baptist minister, and he doesn't have any uh, reservations about trying to legislate his religion, and that's the sort of Christian that I would condemn, the theocrat, basically. Uh, Christianity on its own, I don't have such a big problem with, but when they start trying to legislate their religion on others, then it gets, obviously, that's crossing a line for me. And I think this law does cross a line, and it is reprehensible, and it ought to be struck down as a violation of the First Amendment. Uh, or the ch rather the separation of church and state. And, all right, and that's the way the article ought to have been presented. Um, but it's not really evidence of harm by religion's fault directly. He's taking, because the article that he cites is also, makes the same claim, the same exaggerated claim. So, that's unfortunate because I think that all that does is give ammunition to theocrats like Tom Reiner so they can point and say, you know, see, look, see, look at those atheists. They're just, just liars or distorters if they're um, fair-minded enough to at least to say that this is sort of a distortion or an exaggeration. But it's, it's not helping bottom line. So that's my thoughts for the day. Have a different opinion? Share it comment below. Talk to you later. 72 Day Star, out.